Hi, thanks for watching. How are you? I hope you're doing fine. Uh, if you don't know me yet, my name is Vanessa Fink. Amongst others, I am a reader and a healer, uh, but I call myself a personal energizer. And in my last video, I have given you several high vibe tips for challenging times. So I hope it was helpful. I would love to give you a message this time. It is of the utmost importance that whatever happens, you will stick to your own core, your own truth. That is difficult, especially nowadays, where there are so many opinions about one and the same topic even. You hear from A to Q to Z. Who can you believe? Whose message resonates most for you? The best tip I can give you to handle this is to make a promise to yourself to always keep thinking for yourself. This is the first lesson I taught my daughter back then. She is now 13. And it is incredible on how many situations this lesson applies to. Not only keep thinking for yourself, but also be as neutral as possible. That is the key. Being neutral means that you're not bothered by other people's ideas, but also not by emotions. If you make a decision because you're afraid, is that really the right decision? Hmm. I keep saying it worse. A fear is the worst counselor. So first filter by asking, what are you afraid of? And then check if it's your own fear or are you carried away by a collective fear? Investigate that and see if it is still so scary. I have made good use of my time the last weeks. For weeks I've been reading and watching all kinds of different opinions and ideas and theories, but I also worked very hard on myself. Many healings later by myself, by others and by other means, I can proudly say that this time has been really fruitful. I have received so many uploads, downloads, inloads, whatever, because I was awake, awake during this time, because I did not give up. Precisely because I know that I can only serve people when I'm on my highest vibration. So with all my heart, I invested time, effort and money in myself so that I can do my part here on earth as a beacon of light. But with all that information, I had to check in with myself every time by asking myself, what is my truth? Which I did. And that feels as solid as a rock that gives so much guidance. When you start your search, you may also come across truths that are maybe even worse than you first thought. Do you have to close your eyes and pretend it's not there? No, you're human, not an ostrich, right? <laughs> if you take back your right to think for yourself, you can start to make decisions for yourself again, instead of letting fear from the collective decide. Then you can reign over your own life. Nobody should tell you what to think because you are a beautiful being with so much potential that you maybe not even know yourself. You're not going to give up that right, are you? So why do I emphasize this? Because it seems it is a general theme energetically nowadays. In every session I've done lately in these Corona times, there was one thing that came up for everyone that is taking back your sovereignty. During every reading, I was allowed to work with people energetically to put them back on their throne and to crown them. How appropriate. Corona, crowning. What strength it gives you when you reign from your own castle instead of letting yourself be blown away outside by all the winds of low vibrating emotions. Know your power. That sovereignty by being able to use your own truth in neutrality from high vibe vibrations in love and harmony with your environment. That is what I wish for everybody. You rule over your own life. You are the king or queen of your own castle. I see it. Do you?